Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to knit hurdle stitch. This is a textured nubby pattern. It's so pretty and it only uses knits and pearls. So this stitch pattern lays flat and it's reversible. So it's wonderful when it's knit up in scarves and hats and blankets. This is part of the Best Beginner Stitches series. To see the whole series, click on the link in the top right or in the description. I've got more details about this stitch on my website, including tips and tricks, knitting charts, and how to knit the stitch in the round. Link in the description. I'm knitting with Paint Fox Yarns Cotton DK in the color 433 Washed Teal. So let's start knitting the stitch. So I'm gonna cast on an even number of stitches. I've got 32 stitches casted on, which is an even number. All right, so let's start with row one. So row one is really simple. We're just going to knit all of our stitches. So here we go, knitting the first stitch and the second stitch and the third stitch and I'm just going to knit all of these stitches on my first row. All right so I'm near the end of my first row. Here's my last stitch and I will knit it. Great! So that's the end of row one. So now I'm going to turn my needle over and work row two. Now row two is the exact same as row one. We are just going to knit all of our stitches. So here we go, let's knit all these stitches for row two. So here I've got two more stitches on row two, and here we go, there's our last stitch. Great, so now we've done two rows of hurdle stitch. Now we're gonna move on to row three, and this is the row that gets a bit more interesting. So on row three, we're going to do a knit one. Here we go, knit one. And then we're gonna bring our yarn to the front and do a purl one. Here we go, purl one. And then we're going to repeat that all over again. So we're gonna go right back to the beginning of the asterisks, which is knit one and purl one. So we'll have our yarn up front and purl one. So the instructions between the asterisks are repeated. All right, so for this row three, we're just repeating knit one, purl one, and we're gonna repeat that to the end of the row, okay? So let's work this row together. We're gonna do a knit one. Here we go. Bring the yarn up front and do a purl one. Bring the yarn to the back, do a knit one. There we are. Bring the yarn to the front and do a purl one. Bring the yarn to the back, do a knit one, and then bring the yarn to the front and do a purl one, okay? So we're gonna repeat this across the whole row, and that is row three. And I'm nearly at the end of row three. Here I've got two stitches left, so I'm going to knit one and then purl my last stitch. Great, so that is the end of row three. We have just worked a knit one, purl one across the whole row. Now I'll turn my needle over and we'll work row four. Now row four is the exact same as row three. We're going to asterisk knit one. Here we go, knit one, bring the yarn up front and purl one, okay? Bring the yarn to the back, knit one, and bring the yarn up front and purl one. So row four is a bit easier in that you can look at row three to tell you what to do. Now what I mean by that is because we've already established this knit one purl one pattern in row three and it's on our left needle, we're just repeating the exact same instructions for row four. So if I take a look at my left needle and I can see that my next stitch is a knit stitch, I can tell because of this little V shape, then I know that I'm gonna knit into it. Okay, so I'll knit into the knit stitch. And this next stitch here is a purl stitch. I can tell because of this little bump. So I'm gonna bring my yarn up front and purl into it, right? So because row four is just a repeat of row three, we can look to row three to tell us what to do. So here, this next stitch is a knit stitch. So I'm gonna knit into it. And the next stitch is a purl stitch, so I can purl into it. So you can just follow the instructions, right, as it's written, or you can do this, you know, bit more intuitive method, which is looking to your existing stitches of row three to tell you what to do for row four. 
Okay, so you have those two options. Just follow a blind knit one, purl one, or you can take a look at your knitting to tell you what to do for row four. Here's a purl stitch, so I'm going to bring my yarn up front and purl into it. Here's a knit stitch, so I'm going to knit into it. Okay, so this really only applies to row four because you have that foundation of row three set for you from the row before. All right, so just continue working knit one, purl one, or knitting the knits and purling the purls for row four. So I'm nearly at the end of row four. I'm gonna knit this stitch, and my last stitch is a purl stitch, so I'll bring my yarn up front and purl into it. There we go. All right, so now I've just completed row four. I'll turn my needle over. So we're just gonna start from the very beginning, okay? We're gonna go right back to row one, and we're gonna repeat rows one to four over and over again, and that will give us hurdle stitch. So we're gonna go right back to row one, which is knitting all of our stitches, okay? So repeat rows one to four, and that is how you knit hurdle stitch. So after working these four rows, my knitting looks like this. So pretty. Thanks for watching. This is part of the Best Beginner Stitches series. Watch the whole series here or click the link in the description. I'm Davina from sheepandstitch.com and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.